Advaita Kala, from the time that uh, we were discussing this case four days ago to today on Raksha Bandhan, nothing has changed. In fact, it is getting, the commentary is getting worse by the minute. Look at what the TMC leaders are saying, that protesting doctors are protesting, I have made the protest an excuse to go out with their boyfriends. I'm not even surprised or shocked because of the way the, the way this case has been unfolding in the last week or so has indicated that the government, the state government, is completely, completely more concerned about their political reputation than they are about justice for this young woman. And they have been bullying the women online, women who have made posts. They have been sending them legal notices. They have been making the kind of utterances that we heard in your opening package that are completely despicable. It's victim shaming of the worst kind. But I'm not surprised because when we have seen a trend of such sort of violence, sexual violence against women, remember Sandesh Khali very, very recently, there was nothing. There was no comment. There was no nothing that came from the female chief minister of the state. Sexual violence is a very, very important and critical issue. And being a woman, it was it is something that one would expect her to have taken up in the strongest possible terms. She is the boss of the state. Everybody, the police, the politicians, everyone reports to her. Why is she behaving in this way? Why is she acting like this is about Bengali pride? and not the brutalization of a young woman who had her entire life in front of her. And that too in a hospital, a 24-7 location. This wasn't some isolated street where this girl was found vulnerable and alone. She was in her workplace. She was serving people. She was serving the sick. I mean, when I read about her, my heart breaks. This is a girl who was a trainee during COVID. And because of the experience she had with respiratory illnesses, she went into the pulmonary department. That gives you a sense of who she was as a person, as a human being in the choice that she made, the choice of service, motivated by one of the most traumatic times in recent human history. And how is she rewarded? By being brutalized. Her parents are saying that they were rushed. They were not informed on time. They have been intimidated. They, they suspect that there was more than one person involved in this violence, and they have no answers. And what you have here is the female chief minister just not reacting as a woman, as a, as a mother, as an older sister. She's called Didi. What is the, what is the, I mean, it's heartbreaking, uh, Pranesh. I, I don't know what to say anymore. Which is why we are calling it the Bengal betrayal on Raksha Bandhan. Pratibha Pralad from Nirbhaya to what's happening in Bengal today. Nothing has changed. Pranesh, um, I agree with every word that Advaita has said. Uh, you know, as this case is unfolding, you know, it's heartbreaking to see what's happening over there. Here you have a woman chief minister of a state and you would expect compassion and, you know, quick action from her. She's also the home minister. She's the health minister. And instead of taking action again and, and doing something quickly to ensure justice is uh, given to this girl, what does she do? She goes on a rally. I mean, she protests against her own government, her own ministry. I mean, she as the home minister, she as the chief minister, she as the health minister. Who is she protesting against? I mean, Mamta Banerjee has failed every woman of this country. She, I mean, she, it's so distressing and heartbreaking when I even think about her because she's the only, you know, woman chief minister that we have in our country and this is how she behaves. And, you know, whatever is happening in this case, you know how botched up everything was. Uh, the, you know, the crime scene was not secure. The forensics were compromised. The police, I mean, that principal of that college, he was, you know, transferred to, uh, you know, some other college. Thank God those students were alert enough not to allow him inside that college. And after that, a government council goes and represents this, you know, in, him in court. Why is a government council sent, for God's sake? I mean, he's a criminal because he has, you know, I mean, he's obstructed justice. And he has, you know, done everything in his power. You know, the way, 